hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm just making this video to do a two-year update on my car um, i think it's helpful for the people looking to buy new cars or start a cars for their children you know for their teens or children who are you know of age to start driving i really enjoy my car and i just want to continue to bring you guys information about it issues that i am facing with it or not facing with it and just my overall experience but I've already done an initial owner review, like after having the car for four months. I've done a car tour and I talked about things that I have upgraded my car, which we will talk more about that in this video. But first and foremost, I have a Toyota Yaris IA, which um, is also known as a Scion IA, um, which is basically just a Mazda 2 that they sell in the United States so <laughs> that's the background of my car if you lift up your hood and stuff you'll see some Mazda details I don't know where it is but somewhere on my car <laughs> like you lift it up and it says Mazda so there's that but okay let's start off so I got this car January 24th 2018 it is now May <laughs> it is May 6th of 2020 so this past january i had this car officially for two years and honestly she has been treating me well i cannot complain at all my car to me is perfect it is a small car like when i have guests who are like a little bigger they are have to adjust their seat a little bit but this car is for me not for my guest so i mean yeah but after they adjust the seat and stretch their legs let the seat back we all good you know but everything works well let's see as far as maintenance goes i have not had to um really replace like i haven't had to do any major repairs to my car i get my car serviced every six months um i don't even wait until the the mileage date i get it i just go every six months so i have a record of every time i've gotten my car serviced in here I have one from July of 2018 and I got it serviced November of 2018. I got it serviced June of 2019. I got it serviced November 2019. I got my car serviced. I had an issue with my, my um, key fob, like the battery was dying. So I had to get that replaced, but um, I did. And I just, they charged me $9. They were like, it's a $30 job, but come on now replace the battery i don't know my car was i was having issues like getting my car to start um quickly with the button but the battery was just dying and i had it for two years so i mean that's kind of normal i do have two keys my aunt's key is a little slow but hers still works fine my car mine it would work sometime and it wouldn't i would end up having to like manually unlock the door because there is a key inside in case you don't know <laughs> i love doing this but this key fob is from ebay pretty sure i sell them everywhere i actually typed in like mazda key fob with the four button and yeah it fits perfectly because it's really a mazda one but there's a key inside a little button on the back i really used to think that's where you change the batteries but it does work now flawlessly i don't know why it took me so long like i feel like i chose to struggle it out <laughs> but i did ask about it before and they told me but they're like the battery's good so i was like okay i didn't change it but later on i had the service appointment and i decided to change it but anyway again i had my car serviced what did i say yeah 11 2019 i went for the battery i called about that and had it done um april of 20 2020 and then i had it done a week later i asked if i had any more service appointments because i've already as you can see that's two years worth of service right there but i had another one for April so I recently just got my car serviced and everything is fine I haven't had to replace batteries they did say my brakes were a little yellow but not bad enough to replace they just said they're getting a little worn like every time I go to the dealership they do a little multi-point inspection thing and they basically kind of check everything and they said I wouldn't need some stuff until like 120,000 miles but they just tell me what they check and I only thing I really have replaced and paid for on my car was the air filter and I think I replaced that like the first year but my battery is still really good haven't had to replace the batteries they said my tires were getting a little worn but again not bad enough to replace just yet so at my 
we'll see if i really need them replaced but he said they're just a little worn so it, again after two years my car i haven't had a flat tire i haven't had anything go wrong i do have a spare in the trunk it came with the car so if you're buying from a dealer make sure they include those amenities in there make sure you have your little jack kit and all of that but again i had insurance i got some insurance deal that covered the maintenance on my car for two years or how 25,000 miles or something like that and yeah i utilized got my car maintenance every six months and it was a really great deal i haven't had to pay out of pocket and i'm so grateful for that um this car is push to start it has bluetooth connection um there are really no issues with the bluetooth it's touch screen and i also had the navigation chip installed so <laughs> i'll show y'all that if y'all want to see the navigation chip so it's right here and you just stick it in i don't want to take it out but i'll put a picture and yeah so i'm on campus where i, I don't really go here anymore <laughs> but it works fine we were in the union springs like the other day and honestly this navigation my phone did not have i don't uh, unless you have Verizon, you don't have any service in the country but if i were to put in my navigation chip it works really really well i enjoy it a lot so i definitely recommend getting the navigation you can search by the name of the place like starbucks and you just click search and it'll pull them up or you can do categories and you can say like in the city like an address you can type the address in yeah you can you can do a pretty good bit on it it's helpful i guess if your phone doesn't have signal it'll let you know where to go <laughs> It also has like settings so if you want to warn for all those things like my speed limit always tells me what the speed limit is for the route that I'm driving or if you want to like avoid stuff you can select those and also if you want like detours and stuff and you can change like the view of the map if your dealership has it I would really try to get this right here um it was included with my car and i really appreciate it so see if you can get it as well i use it all the time after two years it's still working it came with two apple cables a long one and a short one and then a like an android charger or usb to usb whatever they call it i got this armrest which honestly is very detachable this car does not come with it i'm going to take it out really quickly so this is what it looks like um and you need this spot and that and this is the armrest i bought it on um aliexpress it came with this little blue this little cord that connects to your car and you can have other people plug in their devices there it just sits into place usually you wouldn't like be moving it all around and stuff but it's pretty sturdy it has great storage box right there and then it has this little part here you can put napkins or coins in it moves back and forth so that's that this is like thirty dollars i wanted another one that had a cup holder part right here but i didn't buy it and also there is cup holder parts down here but i have a lot of random stuff in here but just know you can purchase a very functional armrest that you can still put your drink in there this one the way it's designed is very like you can't fit really large drinks so i utilize my side cup holders a lot for that but that's another thing that i've done oh. so i do have some hooks back here i have you know little things just to make the car more functional for me little trash can there's yeah. tinted so these are just the windows i got the front i also got the back tinted as well it was included so that was 150 dollars. so i have put some amenities into my car but besides that it's really perfect guys I name my car Skylar and me and Skylar go everywhere together. I take care of her and she takes care of me. So I really feel like if you really take care of your car, get the maintenance when you're supposed to. If something isn't right, 
go check it out so i would just like to say that um the only issues i really had was with tire pressure in the beginning like my tire pressure light would always come on i would always think i would need new tires i would go to a dealership place or to like walmart or any like tire place and they would put air in it check it out and say there's no issue and keep it moving but i haven't really had tire pressure issues this year but that first year it was a lot of up and down with my tires but that's kind of normal with the changing of the seasons and things like that so keep that in mind and that's just my update on Skylar my blue Toyota Yaris IA 2018 if you guys have any questions leave them down below and I will definitely answer them talk to you guys later bye